Write a function for the sinusoid shown. So either you're going to have a sine function or a cosine function. The maximum is 1. The minimum is negative 4. The midline is going to be halfway in between, or the average of those two values. So I'm going to do 1 minus 4, then divided by 2. That's the average. So it's negative 3 over 2, or negative 1.5. That is the midline of the function, and I'm going to draw that right now. Okay, so now that we can see the midline, it's much easier to tell that we have a cosine situation here. And it looks like it is translated down 1.5. So our function is going to be f of x equals a cosine of bx, just in general. And we already know there's a vertical translation. Could be horizontal as well. I don't know. We're just going to worry about that later. So let's start with the amplitude a. From the midline to the maximum or the minimum of the function is 2.5. And I'm just picking that up from reading the graph. Well, since we know the midline is at negative 1.5, the distance from 1 to negative 1.5 is 1 minus negative 1.5, which is 2.5. So we can write f of x equals 2.5 and then cosine. Now we need to find the b value. Remember that the period is 2 pi divided by b. Now see if we can determine the period of the function. We have a maximum at pi over 2, 1. So pi over 2 is the x value and 1 is the y value. And then we have a minimum at 3 pi over 4 and then negative 4. So this is half of the period of a function from pi over 2. To get a full period of function, we have to go to pi. So from pi over 2 to pi is one period. So the period is pi over 2. So 2 pi over b equals pi over 2. And what we can do is we can cross multiply and then go ahead and solve for the b value. So b times pi equals 2 pi times 2, which is 4 pi. Divide by pi, so b equals 4. So now I put my 4 here. Now there's no horizontal translation because the maximum of the function is at 0 for an input. So the cosine function, so the cosine function doesn't have a shift left or right. However, there is that translation we said of 1.5 down, so negative 1.5. And this is our final function. Okay, so let's review. First thing we did was determine where the midline of the sinusoid function is. And then we could easily tell that it's a cosine function. So we wrote the general cosine function, found the amplitude, found the b value by figuring out the period of the function, and then included the vertical translation. And that's pretty much it.